Okay, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a bundle product, which is one of the more complicated products that you create, can create in Magento. Um, I'm going to do it in two ways. There's a fixed price version and there's a dynamic price version. Dynamic prices simply gets the prices of the simple products and a fixed price um, you can configure the prices of the products actually on the bundle product itself. It will make more sense in a few moments. The type of bundle products I'm going to create is a computer console bundle which can come with several games and you get to choose your controller and you get to add a couple of accessories as well if you want. So I'm going to start off by going to catalog manage products and to save a bit of time I've already added all these simple products that I'll need. Um, most of them offset to not visible individually because I don't want them to be bought separately although I've made the games that you can buy with it as um, catalog search. So to start with I'm going to click add product and I'm going to choose the product type as bundle product. Continue. I'm using the default attribute set because there's no attributes that I needed to rec uh, create for this product separately. Okay so it's the classic Super Nintendo I'm just going to create the basic information to start with. Not too worried about what my description and short description are because they're not really the point of this video. Okay, so the first thing you can do is you can set your SKU as dynamic or fixed. Um, not really much to worry about here. I'm going to leave it as dynamic. And the weight can also be dynamic or fixed. If it's dynamic, it will simply collect together the weights of all the simple products that you've created and give you, a, if, you know, if you use it for shipping, it will give you the shipping rate based on those weights. Or you can leave it as fixed and say that, for example, this uh, product, no matter how it's bought, is weighs 400 grams. But I'm going to leave it as dynamic in this instance. <clears throat> okay, so we've got status next. So I'm going to leave it as enabled. And I want it visible on the front end in the catalog and the search. Okay, the next page, price. I'm going to have dynamic pricing. So I'm going to not have to fill anything in this box. If it was fixed pricing, I could give it a starting price of, say, £50. But I don't want to do that because I want my price to be governed by the simple products rather than what I set on the bundle product. So I'm going to leave it as dynamic. I'm not going to give it any special prices. I'm just going to make sure I've set my tax, which I don't have to do because it's applied to the simple products, not the bundle product. Okay, I'm just going to... Give it a simple image. And if I go to inventory, I'm going to set the stock availability to in stock. So this will show up on the front end now. I'm going to choose my category. So I'm going to put it in the consoles category. And I'm not going to worry about setting any related products or cross sales at this stage. All I'm going to do is go to the last tab, which is bundle items. So now I can start to put together all the simple products that I want to be in this bundle. You can choose whether the products can be sh uh, shipped together or separately. I'm not sure uh, if there's too much in that. To be honest, I'm going to leave it as together. And I'm going to start adding my bundle options now. So click add new option. The first thing I want to do is have my console. There's only going to be one option for the console, which is the um, Super Nintendo. So I'm going to have a drop down option and have it as required. Once it's the first one that shows up. And I'm going to click Add Selection and find my console there. And click Add. Okay, so this console now is has been added as the only option available for console so even though the drop down uh, the input type is drop down you won't have to actually select it from a drop down because there's only one option so it'll choose that one for you yep, I'm going to set it as default so it's already selected on my um, console and I don't want to, I don't want the user to be able to define how many of the console they get they simply get one with this um, bundle Okay, so I'm going to add a few more now. <clears throat> this one I'm going to add choose controller. 
This time it's going to be right here buttons. And it's, I'm going to leave it as required. So you have to choose a, a pop controller. Actually, I'll, I'll try to remind mine and go over no. So reset filter to bring back all the products. And so I'm going to choose that one and that one. And I don't want my user to be able to define how many of those they get, so I'm going to set that to no. Okay, add another one. Okay, choose accessories, and I'm going to this time have drop down. And this is required. So I'm going to make them choose either the Game Boy attachment or the Super Scope. And yeah, this time they can define how many of those they want. We'll mix it up a little bit. Finally, the games. This time I'm going to have these as checkbox, which is pretty much the same as multiple select, to be honest. And I'm going to have that as not required. Have that in position four. I'm going to choose the three games that we've added. Okay, so with this one, the default quantity that you're getting is one of each, so you can't actually specify your quantity when you use the checkbox, but it's not required, so they don't have to choose one. So I'm happy with that now. There's my bundle with all its options. I've got different types of options there. We've got drop downs, we've got radio buttons and checkboxes. So it's a good um, range of options that I can demonstrate to you. So I'm going to click save. I've missed something out. Need a skew in there, obviously. And this is for dynamic. I'll write dynamic up here as well, actually, so we can see the difference. Okay, it's created. So if we go now to the front end of the site, go to our console's category, you can see there it is. And it's displayed. The way the pricing is displayed is from and to, so that's the most, that's the cheapest you can get the bundle for. That's the most expensive you can get it for, assuming that you get one of each of the extra options. So there's my console. I can't do anything about that. I can't change the quantity. Then I can choose my controller. So these are the radio buttons that we added. So again, none shows up because this is not um, required to put progress. So I can say I want the official controller. Then we've got our accessories, so we could add one of these to it. And you can see the price updating as we go, that's up to 145. And we can actually increase the quantity of those as well. And again, that increases the price as well, so that's a nice little feature. And then finally, we can choose our games on here. So perhaps we don't want all of these games, so you could tick perhaps two of them and then. There's my total price, £190. I can add that to the cart. We add it to the cart, it goes through very nicely like that as one product. And it gives you a breakdown of what you've got as well added on your, onto your um, product in the cart. <clears throat> one other nice little touch as well is if we go to the game section where these games are um, added as simple products separately, you can see that automatically the bundle product, because this product is part of the bundle product, it's automatically suggested as an upsell. That's another nice little touch that they've added in there. Okay, so if we go back to our admin area again, we'll create a, another bundle product, this time with fixed pricing, to show the difference. So we can go to bundle product, continue. It's going to be pretty much the same thing. So we'll put fixed on the end. So I'm just going to whiz through this. So I'm going to give it a starting price of £100. Quick 
quickly on our image again. Set it in stock. <clears throat> and we'll add it back to the console category. Okay, so we're gonna start adding in the options again. So consoles first. This time you can see now there's a price field, so I can actually give this console a price if I want, um, which is different to the sim simple products price. As I've given a price of £100 there, that covers the price of the, the console, so I'm going to leave that price as zero and I can always up the price if I want to. You know, if I want to put it by £12, I can do that, but I'll leave that as zero for now. And we'll say that they don't define how many they want again so that's all correct I don't know if that's default okay so let's add the rest of them Okay, so if I leave them as they are right now, these two items are going to be free part of the bundle. So I'm going to change them to a special bundle price of £5 each. Be a bit of a bargain if you're shopping at my store. And we'll add some um, controls as well. Do those as right yet. So the price of those is ten. Actually, we'll go a bit cheaper. Five pounds again, just to show you. You can actually change the pricing type to percent as well, so they could be five percent of the overall price. But I'm going to leave them as fixed and. I'll let them. I'll let the user be able to define how many they want as well of those. And finally, let's just quickly add the games back in. So we've got a complete bundle product. And the games are a bargain, five pounds each as well. Okay. I think that's everything. So I'm going to save my bundle, and then we're going to go back to the category, and actually one more thing before I show you that, in prices you can change how the price view looks, so we've got a price range at the moment, or you can have as low as where it tells you the lowest possible price, which is a good way of motivating people to go and have a look at the product if they see a cheap price next to it. So there we go. Super Nintendo's now is as low as £100. So if you have a look in there, we've got the starting price of £100, which includes the console at no extra cost. We can add accessories if we want. We can add controllers, so we can have a couple more of those. Again, it's updating the price as you go, and then this time we'll have Mario Kart. And add one of those to my basket. There you go, so we've got a fixed price bundle deal which is quite a lot cheaper than a dynamic priced bundle deal which is one of the main reasons why you do a bundle product so that you can different, um, make your bundle prices cheaper than the product, uh, buying the products individually. And there we go. Simple as that.